All right, I'm uh, starting this clay, and uh, let's see how far I get. I'm going to be here today and tomorrow, but again, I'm going to take Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. It's just a, uh, it's a good time for me just to get some time for myself, finally for a few days of rest and relaxation and charging up the batteries, so to speak. Time to play with some clay. Anyway, I'm just uh, extending the ground level for this uh, horse here. And uh, I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm going to try it and see. I think I'm going to have to have the ground go to the uh, base, and I'm pretty sure that's going to have to happen. Now, my son. Jason, who has about four YouTube channels, <laughs> said in a comment on one of my on the video that I put in last time that he thought this horse would be better in the center of uh, these two horses. I it would look good that way, but quite honestly, design wise. And I know he doesn't see it as fully as I do. It's better this way. And that's the way I'm going to keep it. So there, son. I'm keeping my design the way I got it. All right, I've got the uh, base built up. I'm leaving part of it unfinished because I've got to be able to get to these uh, two screws that hold it onto the base uh, that I've got for the total, total piece. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down between the main body of the sculpture and this base that I've got made for the... Uh, horse running behind it, this horse, and I'm going to unscrew the, uh, well, i got to move that clay a little bit. Move this off of here. Leaving my markers for where the base will go back in and I'm going to work on this horse separately so I'm going to move this off of my sculpting stand here better go lay this down here out of the way been having trouble this morning getting my two cameras to synchronize with each other and maybe the noise of the uh, heat heater in the background that's uh, making it difficult for that to happen. So, anyway, here I go with the uh, skeletal structure of this horse. Now, I'm not going to cover all this because uh, I covered in my instructional videos that I've got online that are for sale and I'm not going to uh, do this 
because other people have paid good money to get that information. And I'm not going to give it away here. All right, I'm going to just take a break while I'm working on this horse and do a little self-promotion. I've spent over 50 years sculpting and have, over the years, developed little shortcuts, little hacks to make my sculpting easier. One of them is making armatures that uh, match the anatomy of the figure that I'm working on, uh, how to make the armatures as easy as I can with as little expenditure as possible. I used to spend a ton of money on armatures and I learned better ways of doing them with a lot less. I also learned how to create a sculpture of a person or a horse or even a dog by adding muscles and stuff like that to the uh, the figure. Now, I've got nine instructional videos currently available. There's a uh, link in the description of this video down below to a review of all nine of those videos. And if you're interested in sculpting, I'd really appreciate you taking a look at that because it could be helpful to you if you want to become a sculptor. It's a hard business and it takes time to learn how to do things. Like I said, I started 50 some odd years ago. Actually back in 1965 was the uh, first time I sculpted, sculpted and it was in a ceramics class at my high school. In, uh, South Salt Lake. I talk about clay that I use. I show you how to use the clay and I show you how to start a figure. So if you want to take a look at my review of my nine instructional videos, check the link below this video. And uh, I hope that would help you to make a decision. I know a lot of you would like to be able to do what I do, and it just takes time, that's all. So anyway, that's the end of my self-promotion, and uh, let's get back to the play. All right, I'll be back in a little while when I get this uh, pretty much sketched in, I hope, and uh, I hope I get it today. I've got different clay in my my uh, bucket here that I'm heating up and some of this clay is not the clay that I was using before it takes a little longer for it to uh, get soft to work with and so it's uh, taking a little longer to get things going here This clay is a lot harder than the clay that I use normally. And it's not softening up like I like it to be. As you can see on my sculpting stand, I've got uh, my two horse maquettes. And uh, this one here was purchased from uh, anatomytools.com I don't remember where I got this one this one was a lot cheaper than that one that was this one was really cheap but I couldn't tell you where I got it from because it's been a long time since I purchased it and uh, I'm sorry about that you can find them you just do a Google search for horse maquettes and uh, you'll probably find exactly what I found doing the same kind of search.
All right, this is uh, as far as I'm going to go today. I probably do the same thing with the other horse tomorrow. Sketch in the bone structure. And then after the first of the year, next Tuesday, I'll uh, start adding the muscle. But for now, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, we'll see how far I get tomorrow. Good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.